Hello, this is Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on my alphabet letters, U and V. And today you get voiceover, Lisa, because my original video um, had a big old loud dog barking and my husband clanking dishes, so um, here we are, voicing over. All right, so uh, to start off, um, I just let you know that I use the index cards from the Dollar Tree. They are four by six. Um, so what I do is I take those and I will add digital scrap of paper to the top of them, like I have here, um, glue them together, and then I uh, corner round them and um, ink the edges on both of them, save a little time uh, so we don't have to do it during the video. Um, it's not too exciting to watch anybody corner round or ink. Um, I did use the largest uh, size to do the corner rounds though too. Okay. So, um, in last week's video, I did S and T, and I decided to use um, the same uh, inks for both cards, and that seemed to work out well, so I decided to do the same for this week's. Um, so, um, the colors that I have chosen um, for these two cards are, um, uh, the first one is a mahogany, which is uh, this burgundy kind of color. Um, I thought it went well with the card and the U, and then I've got... Gather Twigs, which went with the V brown, and there's some brown on the used card. And then I've got uh, Pine Needles, which has the green in the U, and the same kind of green in the background of the V. So I thought those were great colors to um, tie them together. All right, put these to the side. So they like to tend to stick down, so we don't want them to stick. Um, I also have pulled a bunch of labels, um, some background papers, um, uh, to kind of cover them as I am decorating them. Okay, so first thing I like to do is I will find the two stamps that say postcard um, on the back of these. And there is my Tim Holtz postcard stamps. And we're gonna grab the letters back again so I can figure out which stamp I think goes the best with them. Kind of like to make them um, seem like they go with them. Alright, so this U one um, has some spokes on it and some straight lines. I'm kind of squarey for the U. So, let's see, I think I might pick this uh, bottom one here. It's got the squares on the end and some spokes on it. So, we're going to go with that one for the U card. And now for the V. Uh, the V is a little bit more swirly, ornate, kind of looks like vines. So I think I'm going to go with this one that's got some swirls on it. Okay. Get the stickers back out of the way. And we'll go ahead and um, ink these up. And I forgot my block. Where is the block? There it goes. Okay, so we're going to ink the back, and we're going to decide which color to use for the postcard. And I think I'm going to go with the green, um, since that's the U. I think that'd be a great color to go with. And hopefully I can do this straight. The back side of these postcards do not have a picture of the stamp. So sometimes you can't really tell if you're putting it down straight. And I got close. <laughs> Better than sometimes I do. But. All right, we'll clean that off a little bit. Put it back. All right, so the next part of the back of my uh, card is um, I use this straight, uh, looks like a barcode. It's got straight lines. I'll use that on the bottom. It's a little more modern of a thing for an old postcard, but um, I like the way it looks. And I'm thinking I'm going to pick the mahogany um, for the lines, so I can have two different colors on the back. See if we can line this up straight. Okay, not too bad. 
Alright, so the other thing that I use is I have um, an arrow. Um, if you think about postcards, um, they come with a line down the center where on the one side you put uh, the, uh, what do you want to call it, what you write to somebody, and then the other side you put the address. Um, I don't have a straight line stamp, but I thought this arrow was kind of fun. So that divides the two sides. And I use the same mahogany as the bottom barcode. All right, so let's stamp the other one for V. And let's see what color we're going to use for the back of this one. I think we'll go with brown for this one, since the V is mostly brown. Actually, it's all brown. I shouldn't say mostly brown. But that's a dominant color. So we'll use that for the postcard. And try to figure out which is if it goes up or down one direction. So I do the top properly. That looks like a good way. All right, see if I can put this one straight. Yeah, not too bad. Okay. I've seen worse. <laughs> All right, we will put that stamp away. And we'll go ahead and do the barcode arrow with a different color. And I think I'm going to use the green since that front of that card had just brown and green, didn't really have the uh, burgundy. I thought this would be the good second color. And I hope your day is going well. I have been having a good day. It's actually uh, Labor Day today. So it's uh, actually kind of quiet around here. We're spending it at home. It's kind of warm outside. So um, just kind of hanging out. So I have a question for you all. We had this debate. Um, I'll let that dry a second here. I had a debate. Um, I bought some grapes recently at the store. And we had a debate on how they should look. Or not look, as I'm looking at the dictionary page here, how that looks. Um, do you like uh, grapes eaten uh, room temperature in the fridge or in the freezer? We have this debate at home of which is the way, best way to have grapes. <laughs> no. Just give your thoughts on how grapes are eaten. And, uh, no, one of the choices is not in a wine. <laughs> you don't eat that, so, um, yeah. Just curious what everybody else says, because we definitely had a, a vivid debate on grapes today, strangely. No. All right, so I found some backgrounds. Kind of add these to um, some labels, dictionary page, to add to the background. So that uh, kind of breaks up um, the difference between the sticker and the uh, paper. laying those stickers down and one of these days they're actually going to stick too hard and not come off so but all right the label was just a tad long so I'm going to snip that off um just to even it out yeah all right I'm going to uh glue the U down these stickers come from the antiquarian sticker books um they are stickers but uh they tend to want to peel off um, so I like to add uh, glue to them uh, to make sure that they stay down. Nice squishy new bottle of glue. All right. And of course, I forgot I needed to add something on the side, so I have to peel it up. <laughs> All right, I'll well, put that to the side <laughs> so we figure out what's the rest of it. I like to jump ahead of time and glue stuff down when I realize it and forget that I gotta find some other stuff to add. Let's see if these labels work. That one's too big. That might go better on the back. Let's see, what do we got here? 
I pulled a lot of uh, green and red and uh, be uh, neutral beige brown kind of labels. I like the color on that, but it kind of hides the flower. So I am not sure. We'll ink it and see what we think about it. We will re glue the U and put it down. Okay. Hopefully, this time it'll stay down. <laughs> All right, it seems like it's missing just one little piece. Add something to it. We'll ink this and see how this one looks. See if we like that. Okay. I like the fact that it has a green color to it. Kind of ties that extra into the uh, U label. Yeah, nice. Okay. And I'm going to put this one on the back because it has those same brown, green, and uh, burgundy colors that are on the front. I love when a plan comes together. <laughs> And it is a little bigger than I thought it was, so it is covering up my arrow, which I am not too thrilled about. So we'll figure out something to do to fix that. Alright, so I think I'm going to re-stamp that arrow uh, just a little to the side. It's not going to be down the center like it was before, but it's my postcard. And I'm going to glue this airmail label, uh, burgundy color, um, to the corner of that and cover up where that old arrow was. Yeah. There we go. That looks nice. I can live with that now. Much better. And I think something is needed in the middle of this frame area. So we're going to find a label. I'm going to snip the corners off. They look a little too stark when they're straight, I think. Nipping the edge off gives it a little bit more rustic, vintage kind of look, like it's a little bit worn. And I will ink it and use some art glitter glue because it's a little bit thicker of a label. Okay. Not too bad. I like it. Alright, we'll put this aside for now. Let it dry. We'll come back later to finish up the stamps and do the finishing touches on it. Let's see if we can decorate the V. Clean up my inks because I know my elbow will end up in one of them. All right, so um, I do like the dictionary book page. Kind of breaks up that look. And this prize winner is kind of interesting. I know it's a W, not a V, but I like the colors. Is there something else I can add to this? I look at this time, I remember not to glue the V down before I found the other labels. I'm learning. might be interesting. You got some dates on there. I like the size of it. That could be fun somewhere. I like the swirls of the frame. Kind of reminds me of the swirls on the V. Yeah. Not too bad. I think these might work. Alright, so let's uh, Oh, I don't know. 
Alright, let's move these out of the way and let's just start gluing some stuff down. See if we can get it to work. Start with the book page. And then we will uh, glue my little prize winner down after I ink it. Now, some of these labels have come from uh, uh, freebies I found, so um, if you haven't gotten a chance to look at my uh, previous video that has the uh, 10 best places of freebies, just check it out because there's a lot of fun uh, labels that I found out there. So, yeah. All right, so let's glue down this V. V for victory. For the prize winner. Yeah, that's why I did it. That's why I picked a V for victory. <laughs> All right, so let's get this lined up. Try not to block prize winner too much. And there we go. Yeah, that's cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting all gluey. All right, so I think we're going to put this long strip on there. Nice different size in labels. But it is awful hard to try to ink such a thin little strip. <laughs> Alright, so I think I was originally going to put it on the top, but since I slid that V up, I think we'll put it on the bottom. Well, under the prize winner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I do want to put one more label down below the V there kind of a bigger oh, empty spot so let's ink this a lot of white on the outside of it and see how that looks down in the corner yeah that'll be cute okay Alright, I think it needs a little bit of my vintage tape. Um, I like to put the vintage tape on these postcards. Um, that and my uh, little circles of coffee splatters. Those are fun to put on there too. So we'll put, uh, get my vintage tape on these. Those are fun to make. I think I need to make some more though. I think I'm kind of running a little low. But they are so easy to make. You just whip them up. Okay. All right, so I got something on the back of that uh, first one, the U, but I've got nothing on the back for V. Well, let's take a look and see if there's something that'll fit back here. Got plenty of labels to choose from. And a lot of them seem kind of boring. Kind of brown. Now, I know the front is brown, but hmm, I don't know. All right, let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to do my uh, coffee splotches on these. That might give me an idea of how I want to lay something on the back after we do this. Do a few in the front, a few in the back. These uh, coffee splotches I got from um, Global Land, G L O B L E Land. They're like 99 cents for a sheet, so I have used them a lot. I love them. They're smaller than a lot of coffee splotches, but um, I thought they kind of worked for the postcard because um, they're tiny. Okay, so once we've got that stamped, um, I'm thinking maybe I should put some sort of postage stamp, postal kind of thing on here maybe, instead of a label. So I have special delivery, that could be fun, and letter. So I got a special delivery letter, that could work. Oh, 
let's see, I think I'll use the mahogany one because I used the brown and the green for the postage label. Add the third color on the back and stamp them together because I like the way that they were angled when I put them down to test them. Do two stamps at once. Why not? Beautiful. All right, let's try to get some of this red off of here. That red is some dark color. And I could probably use one small label now on here that's brown. Won't look so boring. <laughs> oh, I think. Uh, where should it go? All right, put it up there. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, all right. So I think it's time to look for the actual postage stamps for these two. Flip them over so I know which colors to look for. So I think I'm going to start looking for maybe a brown one. Maybe some brown with some green, or brown with some burgundy, or just brown. I was just kind of looking for some interesting shape. That's interesting. Kind of almost looks like a winged bird, like a V. So I think we'll do that one. And with this one, maybe look for some burgundy, a pink burgundy. Kind of tie in that airmail stamp. That could work. It's a little more brown than I think I'd like. And then, oh, he'd be fun. Yeah, I like him. He's got the burgundy and the brown. I like him. Okay, we'll go ahead and glue these two guys down. Getting close to finishing. I have definitely enjoyed doing this series. Um, only have two more videos left. Um, w, X, Y, and Z. So, yeah, looking forward to those. Getting those done. I've been asked what I can use these for. And if you did see my last video, you saw that I printed out a uh, um, Latin alphabet. So I might uh, use them in there. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is put some uh, watermark, uh, cancellation marks on here. Um, I've got these circles. I like to use the um, uh, gray one. It looks like a light black. So I'll put the circle on there on both of these, a cancellation stamp. And then I've got the uh, wavy line uh, cancellation mark. I'll also add that with the gray. And put that one there. Yeah, I think it looks cute. I think it looks a little more weathered instead of using the black. So there we go. Yeah, so I think I might use these in the journal that I just printed those uh, Italian uh, letters out of. So that could be fun. All right, well, it looks like these two are done. Quite excited. Um, I hope you liked the video. Um, if you did, a thumbs up would be great. Um, so that it gets uh, around to um, other people. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you want to go ahead and do that so you see the last few videos, that would be awesome too. And that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.